I want to bring it back, uh, well, to, to my home, to, to Canada, um, and talk a little bit about uh, a new, another project. Uh, I think it's, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, KWG Resources is putting mm-hmm. in a system. Uh, can we uh, can we talk a little bit about that one? Jim, over to you. Sure. Well, we have been working with with KWG on a design of a of a rail bearer system to bring material um, over a distance of roughly 300 kilometers uh, as they're you know designing how to most efficiently um, and you know with the least environmental impact uh, ec- make take advantage of, of the resources uh, that are in place there in the, what's known as the ring of fire mm-hmm. um, that work is is ongoing with KWG, um, we have completed, you know, t- to Jim's earlier point, we've completed that that interaction with the customer and understanding what that design looks like, understanding some of the detail of the topography that we will uh, deploy that system across, the kind of power requirements that, that will be required, the you know the length of the trains, the number of drive stations, et cetera, all that's been pretty well defined. And, uh, and again, just in process of continuing to work with the customer as they move through their various approval processes. Mm-hmm. We, don't, we don't take the lead in those. We work with our customers in those situations, but we are, we're right there with them in, in helping to make sure that we're providing all the information they need to, to get those approvals in place and to, uh, and, and to start mining. Are you able to disclose, uh, you know, I don't want to put you on the spot. Are you able to disclose like details of what a system like this would look like on their site? Well, I, the, the system itself, uh, I don't know the numbers off the top of my right. head. It's, it's, it's a big one. It would certainly be the biggest system. That's essentially what I was asking. As, as, as it one. spans, <laughs> you know, a distance of 300 kilometers. That oh, is, wow. Okay. That, that is a, a significantly long system. Wow. Most when, when we think about rail bear in most mines, you know, they're you know anywhere from a couple to maybe fifteen kilometers. Wow! In so this, this would be huge then. It's a very large system, but for us, it's you know it, it, it's not difficult. Right. <laughs> you know, once you figure out how to do that, um, the, it, it's simply a matter of. Uh, you know, installing more track and having more drive stations and, and longer trains. Yeah. So it's quite possible to do it. And what K, KWG has been very interested in is not only, you know, the environmental benefits that, that we can bring by running this off of, of grid power, but but also the, the very small physical impact that the right. rail system w- would have, much smaller than, than the alternatives that, that they've considered. I was, I guess when you talked, uh, I guess, especially when you talk about places like Canada and it's, um, that, that local, being able to hire a local, that it's a system that you're not just bringing in your, your own team of installers. And, you know, that, that must, uh, that must be also an attractive thing to these companies too, right? Being able to use local community, uh, have local involvement in these contracts. Uh, We've found that extremely favorable. We've never yeah. had that uh, fall to uh, into a bad space with any customer yet. And we try to do as much of it as we possibly can. I mean, there are limits that you have that you can do with this stuff, but right. as much as we can, we, we prefer to do that. 